So this is the intro to Computer Art 1. First, let me say that I've never liked the title of this class. To me, it sounds too frivolous. This isn't to imply that art isn't serious business, but I am teaching something here that I consider to be relevant. Now, relevancy is a term that has gotten kicked around a lot ever since I was in school. Basically, it means what I'm learning right now. Is it somehow related to my life in general? Am I pursuing something that is going to mean something to me? Is it going to stick with me? Is it going to help me in my life? Help me get a job? All too often, school is looked upon as a training ground for life of work, and it should be about much more than that. It should be about being curious about everything. And in doing this, we need to think hard about what it, to hold on to and what to throw away. So, here's an interesting story. The Indian leader, Mahatma Gandhi, was getting onto a train. One of his sandals slipped off and fell to the ground. The train was moving and there was no time to go back. Without hesitation, Gandhi took off his second sandal and threw it towards the first. When asked by his colleague why he did that, he said, one sandal wouldn't do him any good, but two would certainly help someone else. Let's use that as a point of departure. In terms of knowledge, Gandhi knew what people needed and he knew what to let go of. Now in the back of the room there's probably a student who wants to raise his hand as I'm speaking and he wants to know, why do I need to know this? Well, I work hard at what I do and I might consider this an uppity question, but at the same time I have to admit to having asked that same question once or twice during my lifetime. Truth of the matter is that these days we teach a lot that isn't going to matter in a significant way to students' everyday lives. There's also a lot that we aren't teaching you that would be a better return on your investment here. We teach a lot about software and techniques. It's nice to know things. I like to know things. You like to know things. But there are issues of balance, particularly in the digital age. The information in textbooks is not necessarily what you need or would like to have at your fingertips. Instead, even though most people would say that education should prepare you for life, much of what's offered in schools doesn't work in that direction. A good deal of what I want you to grasp from this class is not an exact do this as I am showing you how to do it, but it's the principles behind what I'm showing you that are the important things. One of my most favorite movies of all time is The Karate Kid, first out in 1984, which makes it an old movie by now. What has stuck in my mind over the years is about the notion of the building of physical memory, the training that is inherent in every profession from art to music to carpentry to zoology. For those of you who have not seen the movie, here is that key scene. But what spot? Hey, hey, how come you didn't tell me you were going fishing? You're not here when I go. Well, maybe I wouldn't want her to go. You ever think of that? You karate training. I'm what? I'm being your goddamn slave is what I'm being, man. Now, we made a deal here. So? So? So you're supposed to teach and I'm supposed to learn, remember? For four days, I've been busting my ass. I haven't learned a goddamn thing. Ah, uh, you learned plenty. I learned plenty. I learned how to sand your decks, maybe. I wax your car, paint your house, paint your fence. I learned plenty, right? Uh, not everything is as seen. Oh, bullshit. I'm going home, man. Daniel-san. Daniel-san! What? Come here. Show me sand the floor. I can't move my arm, all right? What are you doing? What are you... Ow! What? 
Now, what are you doing? Now, show me. Sun the floor. How did you do that? Shut up! Stand the floor. Hmm. Please stand up. Show me sand the floor. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Big sucker. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Now show me wax on, wax off. Hey. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey, wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Concentrate. Look in my eye. Lock a hand. Thumb inside. Wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Wax on. Wax off. Show me paint fence. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Other side. Look, I. Always look, I. Show me paint the house. Side, side. Lock list. Side, side. Side, side. Yes. Show me wax on, wax off. Show me paint a fence. Cut! Face! Death! Death! Show me side to side. Death! 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 Show me sand of floor. Cut! Face! 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 Yush. I always look away. Come back tomorrow. What Daniel is upset by in the beginning is that he assumes that he's being taken advantage of, used as a slave, never realizing the importance of the training and memory motion that Miyagi has him engage in daily through a number of seemingless, mundane, and apparently meaningless tasks. In the end, these mundane and apparently meaningless tasks add together to form a kind of built-in memory of motion. The elements of art and the principles of design are these kinds of thing. Hopefully, they will become so ingrained in you that this repetition that someday, without even thinking, you will be good at aesthetics without ever having to think about it too hard or too long. As Gandhi tossed his second sandal, he showed wisdom about what to keep and what to let go of. Both are important concepts to keep in mind. Think about that. Think about those sandals as a training and the need for tomorrow's journey.